Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm about to go dumpster dive. I wanted to say before I start, though, that I'm so excited for everyone who has, like, subscribed and watched my videos and commented, and that I, I'm just, like, it's so cool. I'm blown away by the amount of support that I've, like, received in the last week and it's really really awesome so I just want to say that I appreciate all of y'all so much and I love reading all of the comments and today I'm gonna to be wearing gloves so thanks for that and yeah I hope you like this video and I'm just really stoked that there's a community of people out there who are like-minded and enjoy watching me dig through trash <laughs> so thanks for tuning in and let's see what we can find all right, I'm at the very first stop of the day. This is an apartment complex by the TWU campus. I've never looked here before. Oh, that looks like it might be closed though. Let's see. I'm putting my glove on. Okay. All right, let's see if I can reach it. So this won't flip over because of a tree. So. This is very heavy. So here we've got... Here's a purse. Steve Madden, all right. It has some stains on it. But it's definitely donatable. This is a headband. These are all little like flower crowns. Here's another flower crown. This knife set. Oh, that's a shower curtain and all the little rod things that hold it up. A thermometer, I guess. A little birdhouse. Oh, there's another flower crown. Okay, so most of this stuff in here is donatable. So I'll be taking that, like the knives and the shower curtain and stuff to the thrift stores. And then I'm really curious about that bag. Okay, that last um, bag wasn't actually anything. So I've moved on to a new dumpster. And my glasses are all fogged up, so I can't see. <laughs> all right, let's see. There's a boot. All right. Next one. New apartment complex. This dumpster has so much stuff in it. I see already these pictures right here are very pretty. So I'll for sure take those. This is some type of like Christmas Yeti that lights up. I wonder if the cords are all here. Yeah? Alright, I'm gonna take that for sure. <laughs> what else? So this is the recycling bin right here, which is unfortunate because clearly a lot of this is not recyclable. And it just seems like people either don't know or don't care. But this just causes so much work for the recycling companies. There's a Halloween tablecloth. 
All right, what do we got in the actual dumpster? Big, oh, that's a folding table right there. This is a big chest of some kind. Let's see. I'll come back to that. Okay. I think it's a little too full in here. It's, it's too hard to get to anything without a ton of stuff falling off. So I'm just gonna kind of feel, oh wait, bag of clothes. All right. My gosh. Is that a laptop right there? It is. Oh my gosh. The thing is, even if these don't work, I just sold two laptops on eBay for parts. You can get, I don't really know as much about PCs as I do about the Macs, but you can get money for these for parts, even if it doesn't work. Oh my gosh. How cool. That's wild. Not bad. I'm gonna grab the clothes. The reason I sort through it at the dumpster is sometimes I can tell really quickly if the clothes are damaged. Some people will throw away their clothes because um, they actually do have like problems with them, like real holes or stains that won't come out. And so I'll sort through them at the dumpster sometimes just to see if that's the problem with those. But today I'll just take the whole bag, sort through it at home. I'm gonna look through this recycling bin though a little bit more and see if I can find the charger for that laptop because it might be in here. All right, well, I'm not seeing it. I'm sure those chargers are semi-easy to find, so, or to purchase on Amazon or something. So I'm gonna go to the next one. That's crazy. Side note, I just watched one of my clips back that I just shot and my eye looks very scary. So I apologize. I don't know, it like has some burst blood vessels or something in it. It just looks creepy. And I just noticed in the video, you can like really see it. So sorry, just try to look past it. <laughs> All right, new dumpster at the apartment complex right next door. fishing tape simple okay whatever sometimes people pay a lot for that kind of like sports stuff the last few dumpsters that I've gone to. So I'm kind of in a new area now and I'm gonna check some of these and see if there's anything over here. Alright, 
nothing there. I was driving by this one and I saw this suitcase here with some shoes in it, which are really pretty. They're from Charlotte Ruse, a Dallas Mavericks or yeah, Dallas Mav shirt and okay, I don't need that one. Cool. And this suitcase, I'll take that. So there's a couple pieces of clothes. All right, I'm at a new dumpster and I haven't found anything in a while. So I'm hoping, and this actually looks like there's some stuff in here. Yeah, there's stuff in that one. Let's see if I can flip this. Oh, I see maybe a jacket. All right, let's grab this bag. Oh. Awesome, all right, that's clothes. What's this right here? This might be... Some type of purse, some pet stuff, a little flashlight, and yes, I know, I'm back to not wearing gloves. They're hard to feel around in. <laughs> Oh, maybe I'll get used to them eventually. All right, this one I'm gonna toss back up here. This one for sure has stuff in it, but I don't want it to fall. See. I'm gonna put the phone down and look through this bag and then I'll let you know what I find. Okay, so from that dumpster, I got these storage tubs with the lids, two pairs of UNT sunglasses, this little bag. These are two dog sweaters. I just thought this little jar was good for organizing. This is a hat from Old Navy stress relief for dogs and it hasn't been opened yet at all and then this is an eyeglass cloth for me <laughs> a unt lanyard and another pair of unt sunglasses and then we also found this storage uh cloth bin and then three more ones for organizing and all of these storage bins i have needed so this is really really awesome um, and then I also got that bag of clothes that's already in my trunk. So yeah, not bad for that one. There's a couple more dumpsters at this apartment complex. So I'm gonna go check those out. All right, what do we have? Trash, trash. Okay, so I'm pretty ready for lunch. So I'm gonna go to three more spots and then I'm gonna call it a day and go home. But I'll show you when I get home, um, like all laid out on the table, everything that I've found. But right now I'm at Dollar Tree. So it's really hit or miss. Um, I found some food here though before and I'm gonna check and see if they have anything. So close. Mm, a broken picture frame. All right, next one. This is Drug Emporium. Dang, all right, nothing. Okay. This is out behind a thrift store and all of those clothes 
are right by the dumpsters. And that thrift store is pretty notorious for just like throwing away a ton of stuff. I don't donate to them because I look in their dumpsters a lot and it seems like they just like, if they have too much stuff, they put it in the trash instead of sorting through it and putting it out on the floor. So I'm really curious if they're tossing all those clothes. I'm gonna go to CVS and then I'm gonna come back by and see if that door to their entrance is closed or maybe I'll come back later this evening and see if it's all in there. But that would be wild and super wasteful. So hopefully that isn't what they're doing but it kind of looks like that's what they're doing. Okay, so this is the last place that I'm gonna go until I go back to the thrift store. But this is CVS. So you can see someone already came because these bags are torn open. There are a lot of, I guess, dumpster drivers here in Denton because we have a, a large homeless population. And so sometimes you'll see where the bags have already been looked through. look like there's anything in here today. <laughs> that is my last stop. So I'm done diving for now and I'll keep you guys updated on all the clothes behind that thrift store and all of the clothes. So seeing if they actually are throwing all of those away. Um, if I can go back tonight and get them or what's going to happen with that. So who knows? I'm hoping they're not throwing them all away, but a selfish part of me is hoping that I can go get all of them. <laughs> so I'll keep you updated. And when I get home, I'll show you everything that we found. All right. Okay. Because I'm addicted to dumpster diving. I went to one more place and it's, this is all, hold on. I'll flip the camera around. It's like all the old, um, Kodak slides, like a photo. Okay, so I already collected this whole box of them and now I've just found that there's like all these in here and these which are like oh that one actually doesn't have anything in it but this one did they're like old movie um, reels. And it's sad to me that it's all in here because this is someone's memories. And I know that Scrap, uh, which is a resale craft shop here in town, um, I'm pretty sure that they accept these old slides. So I'm gonna try to take as many as I can and at least take them there. Look, that's from 1967. That's so cool. Okay, so I got this whole box is full of all of them. And look at this photo that I just found. This is gorgeous. I would love to blow this up. I think it's so pretty. It's wild. I don't know why they would throw all this out. 1979, wow, so cool. Okay, so I'm home, everything is laid out, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so not the biggest haul, but the things that I am most excited about, those are the bags of clothes down there, is this, which is all of the slides. This is one, two, and then there's a third one down there of, I guess these are gonna be movies. So it's like, and maybe somebody can comment and tell me what this is or how you would play it. But I'm really excited about this. I just really like photography a lot. And I think old vintage stuff like this is just really cool. 
yeah, I think these are really awesome. I'm excited about these. This is a uh, fishing tape and I looked it up and this exact one sells for $80 on Amazon. So it's obviously really beat up, but you can see it still has a lot of the cord left. So that'll sell for sure. These are some matching Adidas bra and panty workout sets. Two little mini dog sweaters, which will not fit him. <laughs> This is an Old Navy hat. These boots right here from Charlotte Ruse. They're, um, they look like they're brand new. Maybe only worn one time, but those are, look really good. We've got, <laughs> you wanna play tug? <laughs> That's Pilgrim. Um, I got five flower crowns that are still wrapped, which I might take out of the wrapper or at least wash. Some of them have like some deodorant on them. Um, these are two pairs of UNT sunglasses. I'm not sure what this is, but it's some type of UNT thing. Just some stickers right here. These are the fluffy keychains that I found, which no idea, but I can at least donate them. I think they're really cute and soft. And then these are all of the storage bins and then the little mini little glass thing for like Q-tips or cotton swabs or something. So those are great. And then obviously the laptop, which I'm so excited about. What is it? It's a HP notebook. And the only thing I noticed was <laughs> it's missing that part, which I think might be the battery. But again, like I mentioned before, um, these things sell for parts really well on eBay. This is a gas station gift card that I haven't called yet, but it might be empty, but it might have a little bit of something on it. And then the bags of clothes. So I'll wash those and go through them. But yeah, there you have it. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you guys have any suggestions on things that you wanna see, comment and tell me because I normally just dive at apartment complexes and I do retail shops every now and then, but if there's something in particular or a certain store that you want to see me dive at, just let me know and I'll try to incorporate it. So thanks again for watching and stay tuned for my next one.